What's up guys, it's Maddie here at MixandMasterMySong.com. Today I'm gonna show you how to master a song using Studio One 4. We'll be going over luffs and levels and how I get things to sound at the same level and all sorts of other great stuff. But before we get started, please like and subscribe if you can. It really means a lot to me. Let's go. All right guys, so here is our project. Now, if you're new to using Studio One or you've been using Studio One and you're used to doing a new song and you're wondering what this software is, this is their project section, which is, is their mastering section of the software. And it's, it's really cool because it's almost, like a, it's almost like two softwares in one. So in order to get here, you just click new project, name the project you want to call it, and you know put where you want to save it and select the sample rate. So most of us will be using 441. Um, if you're working at a higher sample rate, if you're doing classical music or something, you might want to pick whatever higher sample rate you're at. So you just pick the sample rate that your music is currently at. And then this import tracks from DDP isn't probably something many of you guys will be using. Uh, if you send your songs to um, a, a CD duplicator to, to get duplicated, um, you a lot of times send them as DDP images. Now, um, not many people are doing that anymore. Uh, so it's, it's not something you see that often, but if you do have a DDP file or image, you can import it right in here, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so after that, you have this section where our songs will get filled in. And then actually, let's load some songs just so you guys can see how it all works. Uh, this is off one of Cam Meekin's newer EPs. This is uh, the mastering. This is the file mixes. So we're just dumping them in here for the mastering. Um, so you can see we got two songs and the cool thing is Studio One, the way it works is it loads it in. So you drag one and it loads it up here and you drag the second here. And what's great about that is it makes it easy to do your crossfades or if you want the songs to start closer together or end sooner and you can move them over like that. Um, so you can, if you want like one song to fade another, you can do that. Or if you want to leave a, you know, 10 second gap or whatever it is, a minute gap, like some old records used to do, you can do that too. And then when you export it, it will save it like that. So it's great uh, to be able to sequence your album. Now, after that, so your songs come up here and you can put in all the information here if you need to. Um, I suggest doing that if, if you're gonna release it. Next is at the insert. So this is the plugins you would put on each track. So I could put a plugin on this and then when I switch here, there wouldn't be an insert. I'll load in one of the plugins we're gonna to use to get these right. Um, we're gonna keep this simple and just use uh, Master Desk. This is a great plugin by Brainworks. And if you haven't checked it out, actually I'll put a link, I've, I've done a review on this. Uh, you can check it in the link above. Um, so we'll put this on, on this, this uh, song, say that you're leaving, but then when you click to this song, you notice it disappears, right? So that's just on these two songs, right? I mean, that's that's the inserts here are just uh, on the certain song that you select. Now the next part here, the master section, say we want to use um, a limiter just to make sure nothing you know, peaks over our, our zero. Um, you could put a limiter on the master section and then there, that will be on both tracks. So what's great is you could do certain EQ moves on here and certain EQ moves on here and then limit them, limit both songs the same amount if you wanted to. Um, I, I tend to just limit them all on each insert just because the levels are going to be different and it's kind of hard to do it if you just do it on the master, but it's cool to have that option. Um, sometimes I'll put a limiter just to catch the peaks on the master. But, but I don't necessarily use it that often. And then post um, is just uh, certain things that, that you want to maybe, you know, post the master. Um, so like pipeline, that's so you can hear the music, so don't worry about that. The BX meter is something you guys have asked about. This is the meter you see on my right screen all the time. And I use this meter a lot to kind of gauge where I am loudness wise. <clears throat> I also have this, this TC that helps too. Um, so it's kind of a blend of those two and then my ear first, you know, first and foremost, the ear. But I found, because I, I mix a lot of hip hop and pop and loud music, if I'm at this negative six area on my, on my, on my songs with RMS, um, I'm usually in a pretty good position and I'm probably competing pretty good with songs on the radio. So if I get right around there, I know I'm pretty good. And then what I'll do is AB with some commercial music to make sure that I'm there. Um, so let's take a listen to these two songs so you can guys can hear the difference pre-mastering and then we'll start 
you know, using this master disc and, and maybe a few other plugins to get these to sound closer to the same level. It's hard for you to believe it. You say it's barely hey, on my hey, mind. Hey. And I ain't focused on all their opinions of us. Doing pack flips, but I had to get away. No Southwest, bitch, I want a private plane. Pride from a tribe, but defines my name. Ride till I die, but my mind had changed. I want a big crib, bitch, stop it. They don't want to stick, cause see, we don't know how to love. Nobody set an example. I'm moving far from home. This road is lonely, making Okay, so right off, this one sounds a little bit louder and maybe a little bit brighter. So this is our louder song. So when I'm mastering an album, I always start with the loudest song. So if this is the loudest one, I want to get this up to, to you, know, you know to our levels and, 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 and master that one first. And then I'll go to this one next. So that way you're not working backwards by starting with a soft zone, making it super loud. And then the next song, it's, it's, it gets weird like that. So I always start with the loudest piece I can find with all the source material. So um, that being said, this doesn't need all that much uh, because I mixed it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it doesn't need much, but we're just gonna get it a bit louder and um, and see what we can do. We're not gonna you know, show a full on master today, but this is more just to show you how to do it and how to use it in this program. So here we go. The day I was doing pack flips, but I had to get away. No Southwest, bitch, I want a private plane. Pride from a tribe, but defines my name. Ride till I die, but my mind had changed. I want a big crib, bitch, stop it. They don't want to see you hustle, they don't want to see you profit. Looking through my gram, there's a lot of options. Fuck Pro Tools, I got bars and logic. Porsche Panamera, five car garage, yeah, on my own music. I'm buying watches. I don't give a fuck if you call me Kanye. Come through. Gave me top that she back. God forgive. God the day I was doing pack flips, but I had to get away. No Southwest, bitch, I want a private plane. Pride from a tribe, but defines my name. Ride till I die, but my mind had changed. I want a big crib, bitch, stop it. They don't want to see you hustle, they don't want to see you profit. Looking through my gram, there's a lot of options. Fuck Pro Tools, I got bars and logic. Porsche Panamera, five car garage, yeah, on my own music. I'm buying watches. I don't give a fuck if you call me cocky. Come through, gave me top, that she back to pop. Shit. God forgive the day I was doing pack flips, but I had to get away. No Southwest, bitch, I want a private plane. Pride from a tribe, but defines my name. Ride till I die, but my mind had changed. I want a big crib, bitch, stop it. They don't want to see you hustle, they don't want to see you profit. Looking through my gram, there's a lot of options. Fuck Pro Tools, I got bars and logic. Porsche. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. We're getting pretty close to this negative six area, and that's pushing the mix. Now, if you notice when you're watching this video that the volume kind of goes down, I might have to adjust while I'm uh, doing the editing of the video so that you guys don't get your ears blown out so if you don't hear the volume going up as much that's why um, all right so now we're going to go to this one and this one's probably going to need a little bit more work than this one but let's let's do that and then we can start a b and making sure our levels are the same I'm bringing you up she keep on throwing your name and conversations again i know you waited on me i see your patience is thin i check your socials don't you lie i know you dating again i've seen the story before the shit i hate how it ends i put my life in the music i've been watching it grow you mentioned space then i went and moved the opposite coast i'm really good at acting like i got it under control we just ain't kids anymore and getting younger you know i got a laundry list of things that left me tied up <laughs> And arguments that left me fired up. I'm fueling the flame, but who is to blame? Guess when all is said and done, I hope that you entertain. She out the door and she's saying that she leaving. No. Shit. And she keep on bringing you up. She keep on throwing your name in conversations again. I Southwest, bitch, I want a private plane. Pride from a tribe, but defines my name. Ride till I die, but my mind had changed. I want a big crib, bitch, stop it. They don't want to see you hustle, they don't want to see you profit. Looking through my time. I know it's hard for you to believe it. You say it's barely hey, on my hey, mind hey, hey, They don't want to see you hustle, they don't want to see you profit Looking through my gram, there's a lot of options Fuck Pro Tools, hey, they on my hey, mind hey. And I ain't focused on all their opinions of us But what's the deal, cause my mama keep on bringing you I don't give a fuck if you call me cocky, yeah. come through, give me time I know you dating again, I've seen the story before This shit, I hate how it ends, I put my life in the music I've been watching it grow, you mentioned space, then I went in crib, bitch, stop it, they don't wanna see you hustle, they don't wanna Anymore, and getting younger, you know Alright, so that's pretty close, they're setting a lot closer to each other Now you notice we had to boost a little bit more mid-range on this one Or no, this one uh, just to make it cut through like this one but that's what happens and and that's where i said like if you look these levels are slightly different but they're starting to sound closer to level wise so yes use the levels but also use your ear and make sure you know this one doesn't sound louder than that one it's super important a lot of people get caught up in the levels and the meters and all that stuff so don't forget always use your ears so 
now that we got our songs done, we're ready to send it out. So there's a couple different um, ways you can do that. You can make a DDP image if we were going to send it to a CD duplicator, or you can burn it on a CD. I don't even have a CD burner anymore, so I can't do that. Um, this is the one I use most, which is digital release. And you click it, and it has the two songs in it. And you can add numbers to the files if you want. You can add the artist name if you want. Um, you can do, there's a few other options, I believe. Oh, you can publish to SoundCloud if you want. I don't usually do that. Um, but all you do is put your location where you want to save to and hit OK, and it will export both of these, and you're ready to go. So hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, this is a great program for doing mastering. Even if you're just doing a couple songs that you're going to take a, a demo to to a friend or, or a label or something, you got four or five songs, you want to just get them sounding polished, import them into here, and you can get the levels real quick, even just using Master Desk or something. Um, or you can use Ozone in here as well. So uh, hope that was video was helpful. If you're uh, interested in getting me to uh, mix and master your song, check me out at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also check out my full mixing course there as well. And please like and subscribe as always. See you next time.